today we're going to be doing a review on the Animal Planet Programmable Electronic Pet Feeder. We are going to show you how to set up your programmable dog feeder and show you basically how it works and tell you some of the ups and downs of this device. We'll start with the bowl which has two clamps that clamps onto the device that prevents your dog from kicking the bowl so then your food gets dispensed on the floor. This is a nice feature for this device that it has so the bowl doesn't go away. Now let's go to the back of the device. The back of the device has a power switch and an AC adapter that they don't include in the device. I just use the 4D batteries underneath for the pet feeder. Now let's learn how to program the device. So when you first turn on your device, if you go to the menu here, you're going to see that it automatically goes to 12 o'clock. So the first thing you want to do is let's set the time. So to set the time, you're going to press enter once. And then you're going to see that 12 is flashing. So let's set the time by going up or down to whatever time it is. Currently, it's 917. So let's go to 9. And then as soon as you get to your number, you press enter. And then you do the same thing again with the minutes. And then it's 917 so let's press enter again so that's how you press that's how you set up the time again you press enter once and then it immediately starts flashing and then as soon as you got your hours right you press enter again and then you got your minutes right and then you press enter again okay now that's how you set up the time let's set up when the food will be dispensed so in order to do that you are going to hold the enter button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. As you can see, now the meal thing is flashing. That means you are now adjusting the meals. As soon as you get to this menu, press the up button, and then you'll see it switch to the one, and then the one is flashing. So that's meal number one. So if we want to adjust meal number one, we're going to press enter. And then it's going to ask you if you want this meal to be served or not. Since serve is flashing, it's going to be served. If you, if you press up again, it's going to go to skip. That means this meal will not be, will be skipped. So let's go back down and let's have it served. Okay. Now it's going to ask you what time you want this meal to be served. Same way you change the time, same way you adjust this. So let's not go over that. So let's press enter again. And then the next thing is flashing is uh, amount. So basically half is one cup of food and the full is two cups of food. So in order to go up and down, you basically just press the up button and then you go to the full amount, which will be two cups of food. And then I'll press enter. So that means we set up the first meal at 6.30 a.m. It's gonna dispense two cups of food. Now that we programmed the Animal Planet pet feeder, let me show you how to dispense food if you don't want to program the device or you find a situation where you just want to give your dog some extra food. You would have to hold down the up button for three seconds and then the amount button would begin flashing, which case you can go up and down and then press enter and then the dog food will dispense like it does when it's programmed. Next we're going to go over how to unair the device. If you ever find a situation where your device jams and the program does not give your dog the food, it's going to show an error message, which is just going to simply say E-R-R-O-R -R -R for error. And to unair the device, all you're going to have to do is hold down the down button for three seconds, and it will eliminate the error. Now unfortunately, there are many reasons why your device may show the error. One reason is the batteries may be running low because it can't dispense its food, doesn't have enough power. And another reason is the mechanism that it delivers its food wheel system jams and then it can't deliver its food because the things can't spin inside. In which case, just unairing the program will not fix the error. 
Now we're going to show you how to unjam the device. The best way I found to unjam the device is to fasten the lid onto the, the holder and then take the bowl off the device and then flip it over carefully making sure the lid stays on. Then you can unscrew the food holder from the actual dispenser and then you'll be able to see the jam and easily unjam the Animal Planet feeder. Now that you basically know how this device works, let me go through the ups and downs of this device. The ups are when the device works and doesn't jam, it's great. This device works very well for its small food, more wise cat food and little dog food, or if your large dog likes the smaller food, which is like what's shown right here. Another up is just the convenience of it. The pet holder, the pet food holder can hold about, I would say about four to a week's worth of food depending on how much your dog eats. And the device is really pr easy to program. The downs of it are the device jams easily if it has larger food in it. And just the dependency of can you really trust this device to feed your dog or cat. I would overall recommend this device. But I think they, they should figure out a way to make the device make it so it can't jam as easily as it is currently. Thanks again for watching this review of the Animal Planet Pet Feeder. If you like this video, press the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, comment. Thanks again for watching.